Hi everybody, welcome back to another Daisy PC video and in this video I'm going to show you an easier way to load into heavily modded PC servers. So what we're kind of talking about is this, say you want to join the Daisy Aftermath uh, PC private server. you got to have a whole load of mods installed on your local copy of Daisy. If, you, if you're new to modding, or playing on modded servers what happens is when somebody wants to mod their server and add for example unlimited stamina they have to add that mod to the server itself in the cloud but then you also have to um, have that mod installed on your local version of daisy working on your local pc or laptop um, and, the, and the way that you do that is you come generally the way that you do that is you, you come to steam you go to the Steam Workshop under Community, go to the Workshop, go to Browse and browse the collections and then you look up, say, Aftermath and hopefully someone has created a list of all the mods you will need to join their server. And look at this, there's loads of them. And then all you do is you, you click Subscribe, um, which would be kind of round about there. And then when you fire up Daisy with the date, the ordinary Daisy launcher, you know the shortcut on your on your desktop. When you go into the mods menu, it will then download all of these, and then you can say load all into the game. And then when you, you know, and then there might be something else you've got to do. For example, in Aftermath, you've got to make sure your name isn't Survivor. You've got to have a like a proper name, and then then you go in there and you play. Now that's not too bad. But if you always played the same modded server, but maybe you're playing like an Apex server and they use different mods. Some of them might be the same, but some of them might be different. And sure, you can save like groups of mods within the Daisy launcher, but it's a little bit complicated and, it, and it's not that clear. The easiest way to do it by far is to download and use this launcher instead, the DZSA or the DZSA launcher at day zsalauncher.com and this is a standalone and when you download it this is a standalone launcher you've got to have steam fired up on your computer so that it knows you know your steam account and all you do is you just you know search for the say you wanted my get on my server scale speeder you just search for the um, server you want to get onto I searched in the right bit, that would be good. Um, or if I spelt it right, that would be even better. There we go. S, too many S's. Scale speeder. There we go, it's appeared already. And all you do is you click on play, and then any mods that you're not subscribed to. Um, it will then download them and install them and also critically as you swap from server to server it will make sure you've got the right ones live in your version of Daisy. So let's see, so if we put in say Apex so what we've got, Apex wipes high loot um, let's have a look, let's see that one, so if we click on that one play See, right, we're missing those mods. Apex Trader Test, Admin Tools, Notifications, Apex Daisy. Would you like to fix this problem? Yes, please. So then it goes to uh, Steam. It subscribes to those mods for you. And then you'll see them populate in this thing. Sometimes you've got to go to Steam to, to make it fire up and go works, But they'll appear in a second. Um, and then it will download them all. And then it will then, when it's done, it will then take you into that particular server. How easy is that? It's really simple. You don't have to worry about it too much. Sometimes you've got to sort of restart it to, to make it make the downloads work and restart Steam, that sort of stuff. But most of the time it works fine. And it takes all the hassle and guesswork and mistakes out of joining modded servers. Because as I say, you've got to have the right servers not only downloaded to your local version of Daisy, but they've got to be live on that version of Daisy when you fire it up from launch as well. There we go. So Daisy SA launcher, the DZ SA launcher. Use that instead of the default launcher and you'll find things much easier when you try and get onto modded servers. Anyway, that's enough from me. 
click like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more of the same and i will see you again soon